to this live session of Katha Play. It's so I can't see you all, but I'm sure you can see me. But I can feel the excitement in your uh, on your faces. You know, I can just feel it. And I'm really, really excited to be with you. To start with, we have to thank. Shweta Aunty and the entire News Shuttle team to give us a chance to talk to each other, right? Great. So thank you, News Shuttle, for this live session chance. And we will now begin. A very, very good morning to all the children online. I hope you are keeping safe. and healthy in your homes right and i'm very sure you're very excited for diwali you must have already cleaned your rooms your homes and i'm very sure all over your house your parents have put up lights we can see such beautiful decoration outside in other buildings as well right one thing that i'm very happy about is that you all are very very curious to know why we celebrate diwali so children behind this is a wonderful story written by rishi valmiki he has gifted us this beautiful story of ramayan and it is about a banished prince named ram and all the demons that he defeated so let's begin the story during the story there are two things which are going to be very exciting one as i tell you the story i'm also going to make you meet the characters of the story correct ram lakshman sita ravan and all the demons are going to come and meet you just now right and the second thing is you are also going to play a part and what part are you going to play so this story is about fight between the good and the bad all the time you are going to play the part of a referee Who's a referee? Referee is the one who keeps a count of scores, who won and who lost. Okay. At the end of the story, I want to know the scores, bad one or the good one. Okay. You have to write it in the comments for me. So how are we going to keep score? We, when the good wins, we are going to. I'm going to show you a light. Okay. And when the bad wins. Or when the demon wins, I'm going to show you a dark hole. Right? Do you like being in the darkness? No, na. Blackness, darkness. It all talks about the bad thoughts. That's why we are going to give a black hole when the demon wins. A beautiful, warm, nice light. when the good wins because when we keep the light in the dark hole is there any more darkness inside no na so when the good wins the light goes in when the dark wins okay so let's start be very attentive you have to keep the score okay right it's a long story take care now this story starts with king dashrath now king dashrath was the king of ayodhya very very long time ago and he had three very beautiful queens sumitra kaushalya and kekai and he had very cute four four children the eldest queen kaushalya had one son called ram and ram was the eldest sumitra queen sumitra had twins called lakshman and shatrughan and kekai who was the youngest queen had a son called bharat all of them lived very happily 
in Ayodhya. The people of Ayodhya were also very happy. Until one day, Dashrath realized that he is getting old. And what happens children when kings get old? They have to announce a new king to take care of the people of the kingdom, right? So Dashrath announced Ram to be the next king. Why? Because Ram was the eldest son. Everyone was super happy with this news. The people of Ayodhya were happy. The three queens, the three queen mothers were happy. The wa- and the wives of these four boys were happy. You know Ram is married to Sita, right? So Ram had a beautiful wife called Sita. Everyone was super happy. But when you are happy, you know children, things don't stay like that for long. All the time, these demons keep testing your happiness. And the same thing happened in the palace of Ayodhya. First demon fight coming up. Be prepared with your scoring boards, okay? So there was a demon of jealousy in the palace. And in whose head was this demon of jealousy living? It was living in the maid of Queen Kekai. And the name of this maid was Manthara. She was old, haggard, ugly and slouched. Slouch, slouch, slouch. And all the time she was jealous of everyone. Why is he having this? Why am I? Why I am not having this? That kind of mindset. And she went to Queen Kekai when the news was given and she saw that Kekai is very happy because Ram is going to become the king and Mansa thought, huh? Why is she not jealous? So she let loose the demon of jealousy on Kekai. Let's see who won. She poisoned the mind of Kekai with the demon of jealousy and she said, Kekai, why are you so happy that Kaushalya's son Ram is going to be the king? Why not your son Bharat? You must ask Dashrat to make Bharat the king and send away Ram for 14 years to the forest so he can't fight with Bharat. Kekai tried to fight this demon. She initially scolded but later on she was weak and the demon of jealousy won. So let's see how it happened. So did you see how the demon of jealousy won over Kekai? Let's give a black dark point to the demon. Hmm? And Kekai asked Dashra, she just said, oh, I want something, I want What do you want Kekai? And Dashra said, you tell me I've given you two promises, I'll give you whatever you want. I'll not go back on my promise. And what did Kekai ask? Kekai asked for the two toughest promises, Bharat to be the king and Ram to be sent away to the forest for 14 years. That made Dashrat very, very sad. Now, 
is the turn for the next demon to come in. The demon of refusing your parents. Do you think Ram is going to refuse to go and Dashar is going to tell him this? No. Ram won over the refusing to your parents demon. See what Ram said. So, Ram defeated the demon of all the time not listening to your parents. He listened to his parents and he understood that once you make a promise, you have to keep it. Promise is a promise is a promise. And he went away to the forest for 14 years. The light won this round. Okay? Along with Ram went his wife Sita and his brother Lakshman because they did not want him to go alone and stay alone in the forest. Now, all this time Bharat was not in the palace. He had gone out to visit someone. When he came back and found out what had happened that his mother in the jealousy and greed of making Bharat the king had sent away Ram for 14 years to the forest. He was very angry at his mother. And what he did? He finally defeated that demon of jealousy who had defeated Kekai. Threw Mantra out of the palace. Let's see. Bharat threw this demon of jealousy mantra out of the house. What one again? The light. Right? That's another reason why all moms do such deep cleaning in the house in Diwali. Garbage and unwanted things, dust and dirt in your corners act like demons. Just like Bharat threw the wrong things out of the house, same way our parents clean the house. So you should also keep your rooms and house always clean, right? So now, back to the story. Bharat went running to Ram in the forest and asked him to come back and be the king. But do you think Ram did that? No. Ram still chose light. He could have come back. He could have become greedy, but he chose light and the right. And he said, no Bharat, I have to fulfill the promise that our father gave our mother. I will stay in the forest for 14 years. You go back, you take care of the people of Ayodhya. And once 14 years are done, I'm going to be back. Bharat left and Ram Lakshman and Sita started living in a beautiful forest called Panchvati. This forest was so beautiful. It had such lovely flowers, fruits, cute little animals, squirrels, rabbits, deers. And Sita loved it over there. Again a demon came. Not, never children will you have a time where the demon will not keep attacking you, right? So again, a demon came in this forest. Now, this third demon was the demon of greed. And the name of this demon was 
सूप ना खा कैस सूप ना खा अरे सूप ना खा एग्जैक्टली वॉट मेक दिस सूप ना खा डीवन वॉज अनहेल्दी ईटिंग हैबिट्स वेन एवर समन यूज टू गिव अल्दी सूप टू हैव चीज टू से सूप ना खा सूप ना खा सूप ना खा सो दे नेम डर सूप ना खा So children, if you don't eat healthy food, you might turn into soup nakha. Hmm. So be careful there. So now this soup nakha was a very greedy demoness. Whenever she saw something nice, even though she had so many of those things at home, she wanted, wanted, wanted all the time. She wanted new things. When she saw Ram in the forest, such a handsome boy in the forest. She immediately wanted Ram, and she wanted to marry Ram. And when Ma- Ram refused, she went to Lakshman. When Lakshman refused, she became so angry. She was also the demon of anger. She became so angry that she attacked Sita. And as soon as she attacked Sita, Lakshman cut off her nose and taught her a lesson. I am sure you want to sh- see this scene. Let's find where is soup nakha. So you saw Lakshman cut off Supnakha's nose, and like when you get hurt, you come and complain to your parents. Same way Supnakha went running. Ah, my nose, my nose, and she went crying and wailing to her brother. And guess who was her brother? Her brother was the king of demons. the mighty ravan who was the king of lanka and he had 10 heads on his shoulders he was so angry to know about what had happened to supnakha that he immediately made a plan to take revenge and the revenge he planned was to kidnap sita but how would he do it alone He teamed up with his devil uncle Marij. He told his uncle to disguise himself as a golden deer and go near the hut of Sita. He was sure that this deer is going to make Sita greedy. Sita would want it. Then Sita would send Ram to the forest to catch that deer and get it for her. Lakshman would also go because Ram. the deer is going to make ram run so much and make him so late that lakshman will have to go to help ram and then sita would be alone in the house and then ravan would go and catch her but if ravan goes like himself like looking like a demon do you think sita is going to open the hut and let him in never so what did ravan do He was a bad stranger, very naughty stranger. He disguised himself as a very poor, hungry hermit, asking for food. See, children, that's what these naughty strangers do. 
they smile they give you toffee so that you come to them and then they can catch you right so don't you go near any stranger without your parents because this demon is very dangerous even sita lost to this demon okay let's see how ravan kidnapped sita That's the golden deer. And just look at how Sita became so greedy. Ram went away to the forest. Came Ravan. so did you see as soon as sita came out of the hut and started talking came near the stranger this ravan turned from a nice cute looking hermit into a demon king and he got sita and he kidnapped her and he took her away to lanka now when ram and lakshman came back they understood that it was all an evil plan sita was nowhere to be found again a demon of sadness and hopelessness started taking over ram ram became very sad he started crying oh my sita lakshman gave him an idea he said ram bhaiya don't let this demon of sadness and hopelessness win over you when you are in trouble you must actually pull up your sleeves start thinking use your brain start working towards a solution ram said correct and he defeated this demon of hopelessness one night and both the brothers started looking around for sita on the way they made friends with a monkey king the name of this king was sugreev and sugreev you see you see this sugreev was a very brave monkey king and he had a huge army of monkeys they all decided to help ram find sita amongst this army the strongest bravest the most powerful the most honest monkey was hanuman and he was also a big fan of ram so the task of finding sita was finally given to hanuman and hanuman was so powerful and so strong that he looked everywhere around and jumped and saw this direction jumped and saw that direction check that direction and jump he made one jump and crossed the entire ocean and he found across the ocean he found sita in lanka trapped in the garden of ravan now hanuman did go and talk to ravan to return sita but ravan refused so finally hanuman came back to ram and told where sita was and that they have to prepare for war Let's meet Hanuman in this play.
so they all started preparing for war because ravan had refused to return sita now this vanar sena was a huge army of monkeys but they were very strong very brave very intelligent and in just 5 days they built a big strong bridge of stones across the indian ocean and landed in lanka now this stone made of this bridge made of stone they on all the stones they wrote the name of ram to make it strong and to keep it floating on water quickly they jump jai shri ram jai shri ram jai shri ram and they crossed the whole bridge and they reached lanka in lanka they met a person called vibhishan you know who this was this vibhishan was the brother of the demon king ravan why did they make friends with vibhishan was the brother of demon not a demon himself not necessary vibhishan was a good person he always chose light when it came to decisions and he also went and tried to explain to ravan to let sita go but ravan being the demon king chose darkness and he threw vibhishan out of his palace so vibhishan went and met ram and started making a plan on how to get sita back there was no choice except for war so the very fierce war started monkeys demons monkeys demons monkeys died the demons died such a huge army of demons ravan had but the demon of fear never entered any monkey's mind because they were with the right they were with ram they were with the people who had chosen light over darkness so the fight continued and the first very tough fight happened when ravan sent his giant brother kumbhakarna for a fight now kumbhakarna was so big so big that when he stamped his one foot he could smash 10 monkeys in a step and he loved to smash let's see whether kumbhakarna won or ram won this round Let's see. It's coming up, Kum Karan. his son meghnath to fight now this demon meghnath was the demon of cheating he always used to cheat and he always used to fight unfair you know children sometimes when you cheat you might win a little bit of fight but in the end cheating never helps and that's what happened in the first round of fight meghnath cheated He became invisible during the fight and when Lakshman was fighting him he couldn't see Meghnath suddenly and suddenly Meghnath reappeared and hit Lakshman that was not fair and Lakshman fell down let's see the fight between Meghnath and Lakshman
Kishore with cheating Meghnath shot Lakshman down oh my god I think the demon is winning let's give one dark point to the demon here but do you think it's finally going to work never I said cheating never takes you very far Ram quickly asked Hanuman to get a medicine for Lakshman now the name of this medicine was Sanjeevani Bhuti which was found in our Himalayas Hanuman being the most powerful quickly jumped went to Himalayas and got that Sanjeevani Bhuti for Lakshman and this Sanjeevani Bhuti not only brought Lakshman back to life it also made Lakshman very very strong and then Lakshman challenged Meghnath again and then let's see did cheetahs win or did Lakshman win? Let's see. Let's see how he was saved and how the second round of fight began. So you saw finally who won? The good. Lakshman won. The cheater, the demon of cheating Meghnath fell on the ground. Okay, he is dead. Now Ravan had lost his brother Kumkaran and Ravan had also lost his beloved son Meghnath. He got so angry, he came out to fight with Ram. And they fought and fought and fought and fought now Ravan as I told you had 10 heads can you see Ram and Ravan fighting they were both very powerful huh just see they had Ravan had 10 heads and Ram would shoot on a head on one of the heads his head would get cut off and then again grow back so it's not easy to defeat the demon king okay and Ram kept wondering, how do I kill this demon? Every time I cut one head, the other one grows. Then Vibhishan came, the good brother of Ravan. And he told Ram the secret of defeating Ravan. He told Ram that Ravan has a very bad habit of eating very junk food. His entire power goes weak when it is in his stomach. The stomach is the weakest point. If you hit the stomach, Ravan will not be able to take it. And that's exactly what Ram did. See how Ram defeated. Eating unhealthy food doesn't take you very far, children. Even Ravan lost to Ram because of his weak stump. Okay. Ravan was killed. Ram, Sita and Lakshman were reunited. Everyone was happy. You remember we just celebrated the Shera? So we celebrate the Shera to celebrate the victory of Ram over Ram. And now we are approaching Diwali. Why we celebrate Diwali now? Because on Diwali, Ram, Lakshman and Sita finished their 14 years of exile and they returned to Ayodhya. 
and when it was time for their return the people of ayodhya were so happy and they knew they have so far away lanka is so far away that by the time they reach ayodhya it's, it's going to get dark so they lit up lights on the entire city road to show them the way back home they decorated their houses with light because they knew they were telling everybody that light defeats darkness right once you keep the light inside the dark box the darkness is gone so that's why we say that diwali is the festival of lights because light defeats darkness and good defeats evil so the people of ayodhya decorated the whole city with lights and flowers and todans like we do on our in our homes on diwali that's why we do it and when ram lakshman and sita finally returned to ayodhya and ram became the king everything was happy nice no demons ever came to ayodhya thereafter so children light the diyas in your home this time with very very strong belief that if you put the oil of good habits and the wick of love and happiness and you light up your diya you will be easily able to defeat the demon of darkness greed jealousy anger laziness hopelessness right i'm sure you all want to defeat these demons so light up your diya and what is the latest demon that we are fighting these days the latest ravan is corona virus right to defeat this virus also we need to light up our minds with good habits and good ideas wash your hands keep social distancing stay safe obviously the doctors are definitely trying to get the vaccine out work hard and i'm sure with the light we'll be able to defeat the darkness of corona virus too so let this diwali be a very very happy and light full diwali for all of you children i hope you like the story so this time when you're going to light a diya in your house say jai shri ram okay all of you have to give me a score in the comments okay all of you have to give me a score on the comment because i would really like to know finally the good one or the bad one okay so do write in your scores and do let me know if you like the story and of course in these times we can only do the story online but soon when the covid demon is defeated and everything becomes normal we are going to have live theater sessions and i'm sure you all want to come and play the theater with me right so i'm sure we'll see you soon and i'm going to come back on news shuttle if you can't be likes the session and we're going to have lots and lots of stories again Okay. Till then, stay safe. Have a very, very happy Diwali. Bye, bye.